So Small Hours is my second book. It's the story of a young man called Jack who thinks he's got the perfect life in the city. Then it begins to just crumble around him in the course of one day. So he loses his job. He gets a call from his sister saying his mum's gone missing. And he finds an injured fox on the common near his house, which ends up leading him back to his home in the countryside and the father he hasn't spoken to in years. And at its heart, it's really a story about a father and a son who who don't connect very well and the enigmatic little fox who brings them back together. For someone who's enjoyed your book, what other book or author would you recommend? Oof, I am a big fan of Max Porter. I really like the way he kind of plays with font and strange typography and stuff in, in his books, so I take a lot of inspiration for, from him in those, uh, those kind of fields. So on a similar theme then, can you name your last five-star read? Um, my last five-star read would have been Shark Heart by an American author called Emily Hayback. It is a book about a couple. Um, the man goes to the doctor because he's not feeling great. He finds out he's got a year until he turns into a great white shark. Uh, and it kind of goes from there. And it's as weird as it sounds, but it's brilliant. And it's so much more than just that premise. So what is your favourite? And this is a question I always ask everybody, and I'm going to even make this even more specific. What is your favourite library? And I'm going to say Harpenden Library memory from your childhood. Oh, so I... It must have been round the corner, surely. It was round yeah. the corner, yeah. And <laughs> I used to be an avid reader of comic books and graphic novels, but I've always kind of railed against the fact that you can read a graphic novel in about 30 minutes but it will cost you 15 pounds so i basically just bought out the into uh, well not bought uh, yeah, i borrowed out the entire library stock of why the last man and uh the walking dead and all of those those kinds of uh, graphic novels and i think i was probably more of an avid reader of those than books as a teenager so as a place for comics it was it was the place for me Okay, so we're just going to end with something that's a bit of fun. So quick fire okay. questions. I'm going to give you two options, and you have to not think too much. Okay. Yeah. Um, and give your and give your um, yeah honest answer. Okay. Ebook or physical book? Physical book. Fact or fiction? Fiction. Notebook or computer? Oh, I'd like to say notebook, but it's probably computer. <laughs> beginning or ending? A, a good beginning. There's nothing like it. Reading or writing? Mm reading for fun, writing for work. <laughs> Inside or outside? Outside. City or country? <sighs> Bit of both. Early or late? I am always early for everything. <laughs> My Cake. brother's always late. <laughs> cake or chocolate? Uh, chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Up or down? up and just because Sturt told me not to ask this because yep. these questions were written for someone who'd written a book about dinosaurs I'm going to ask it anyway okay. what's your favourite dinosaur? Spinosaurus <laughs> <laughs>